The woman drinks a glass of milk every day. But what she doesn't know is that the milk in the fridge today has already been drugged and the results are predictable. The woman woke up the next day and realized that she had been violated. The test results showed that she had been violated at least three times. In order to prevent this from happening again, the woman rented out the house. Although the woman chose to remain silent, she didn't intend to let the murderer go, so she asked her brother, who is a doctor, to help her with a secret investigation. But the strange thing is that after the clues left at the scene, her brother could not figure out how the murderer entered the room to commit the crime, and the woman was also puzzled. After after learning of the goddess's experience, Kevin, a colleague, offers to help her out of the darkness. After a series of deduction Kevin think the handkerchief on the windowsill may be the murderer in order to cover up the truth intentionally mislead. The purpose is to let them think that the other side of the window to come in to commit the crime and so that will not give birth to other associations. Because they usually sleep in their own rooms with three layers of locked windows, it's impossible to forget. But Kevin's next sentence made her hair stand on end. It made the woman think of her brother the only one who knew her so well and even had the only key. And through the neighborhood surveillance, only one outsider had been in the neighborhood on the day of the murder. Although it seems a bit unbelievable, but when she thinks of her brother's strange behavior from time to time before the woman cannot help but be skeptical. However, her brother has always been an omnipotent being in her and his mind. In order to determine whether her brother was suspected, the two decided to go to the doctor who had helped with the tests to make sure there was no possibility of tampering with the results. However, the doctor not only denied her suspicions, but also completely cleared her brother's name. Brother's innocence also left the woman completely relieved, but it makes her even more puzzled since his brother is not the murderer than who knows him so well. Just as the investigation reached an impasse, the woman accidentally found a message in the owner's group that the boy was missing, and the place where he disappeared happened to be room 302. This scene seemed to make the woman understand something so she immediately asked Kevin out to tell her doubts. It turns out that when the woman first bought the room in question, she heard that the next 302 is being renovated, so she wanted to learn from the other side did not expect that the other side of the decorative style that she liked very much. She heard that the other party is the owner of the renovation company, so she asked for contact information. The owner of 302 could be the murderer. All the signs indicate that there is no substantial evidence. Evidence. So the two decided to go to the woman's rented room to check it out first. However, as soon as they entered the room, the woman saw a chair in the living room covered with a thick blanket. This strange scene makes people suspicious. So she went forward and lifted the quilt, and in front of her eyes was the child who disappeared. But before she could react, a handkerchief suddenly came from behind and knocked her out.